Welcome back to Fool Us. Let's see who's gonna try and trick Penn and Teller now. I love puzzles and I love escape rooms. I've done probably more than 150 at this point. Each room immerses you in a new adventure, making you really think creatively on the different solutions that are involved. I have a math degree from UC Berkeley. It's uh, in applied mathematics and theater. For graduation, I was invited to perform for a commencement ceremony. Berkeley's a pretty big school, so there was 30,000 people at the graduation ceremony. That was the first day of my magic career. I gave myself one year to see if I could make it as a full-time magician. So Penn, Teller, four years later, here I am. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nathaniel Siegel. Thank you very much. It's great to be here in person. You know, I've been counting down the days until my Vegas performance on this board. Wait a minute, I forgot to add yesterday and today. <laughs> Perfect. Tonight, I'm going to put my math degree from UC Berkeley to use so that my parents aren't entirely disappointed that I became a magician. <laughs> First, we need a number. Allison, could you help me? Sure. Thank you very much. A round of applause for Allison. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, I have a tally counter here. Ooh, fun. Yeah. yeah. I like it because it's a totally fair way of getting a random number. Plus, I like the sound the clicker makes. Very satisfying. Yes. You can see, uh, when I click it like that, the numbers go up. Yes. And I can turn it like that and it resets. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to focus on the first two numbers, okay? Okay. So you can see, you can see them going up. Yes. Yeah. Just say stop whenever you'd like, okay? Okay. Anytime. Stop. Right there. Are you happy? One Would you more. like to go? Oh, one more. Okay. Thank Good. You. Of course. Can you read out what number we have? Oh, uh, 68. 68. Perfect. We have the number 68. Uh, you can have a seat. Thank you so much. Sure. 68. I will now condense my knowledge of abstract algebra here on this board in just about 10 seconds. I'll start by adding these numbers. You can see, 49 plus 1, that's 50, plus 12, that's 62, plus 6, that's 68. No, probably anyone can do that uh, if you have too much time on your hands. But if you think that's cool, watch this. Done. If we look at the first row, 49 plus 4, that's 53, plus 9, that's 62, plus 6, that's 68. All the other rows add up to 68. But we can take it one step further. The columns, 6 plus 3, that's 9, plus 47, that's 56, plus 12, that's 68. All of those columns add up. But that's not all. The diagonals, those add up to 68. As we saw, the four corners, those add up to 68. The four inside squares, those add up to 68. These four right here add up to 68. These four, these four, these four, those add up to 68. And okay, you probably weren't expecting to do that much math tonight, so uh, I think you get the point. But there are over 68 different possible combinations of Allison's freely chosen number, 68. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Now, maybe you've seen magic uh, with numbers done like this before, but there's another miracle hiding in plain sight. Check out this magical coincidence. If you count the marks on this board, one, two, three, four, no, we're not gonna count every single one. That would take forever. <laughs> but you'll find there are 68 of them, exactly the same number Allison freely chose just a few moments ago. But if you're not impressed with that, we can add a little bit more magic this way. Forty-nine, four, nine, six, every single number, a perfect match. Wow, Nathaniel Siegel! Thank you. Oh, that's incredible. 
Clearly, you should be helping my children do math. Yeah, I'm available for private tutoring. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just give me a call. I love this. Did you make this yourself? I did. I, I built it all myself. And actually, uh, there's one more thing this does. Can I show you? Yes. Here, if you just step okay, back. Yes. I'll show you this. Watch. So you did a magic show about the census? I actually created a magic show to help raise awareness of the U.S. census. This is one of the pieces, sort of reworked a little bit, uh, for, for that census show. It also reminds me of Sudoku. Which... Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Tell us. Yeah. So what's your process for inventing a trick? I like to start thinking about what do I want to accomplish and then how do I accomplish it? But then I also set parameters for myself. Sometimes like, can I make this an examinable trick? Or uh, can it be fold flat so I can travel? Or, or things like that. And so that really helps me zero in on trying to be creative instead of just dealing with, I want to do magic. Right. I know exactly what I want to do and have an idea of how I can do it. Kind of like this fool us thing. Shall we find out if Penn and Teller know how you did that trick? I guess so, yeah. All right. Nathaniel. We're familiar with the magic square, of all magicians are, yeah. and uh, it doesn't really ever have an ending, mm -hmm. right? Because no. once you start adding numbers together, and you go, and these make it, and this make it, and this make it, and this make it, and the eyes goes, yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't have a punchline right after that, and you found this way, and we're both suckers for that hiding in plain sight thing, and uh, real suckers for the prediction not being in an envelope, but being right out there, and, oh, why couldn't I have seen that? And also, the, the, the quarter turn has that wonderful feeling of a child's coding system. You know, it's, it's, that's so clever and a wonderful thing. And really, what you have to do is, is find a random number. You gotta start out with a random number. You took that whole idea with the clicker of finding a random number and turn that right on his head. I thought that was a, a really great use of that. And it's a really wonderful routine. Plus, and this is something that's uh, really important, you're really likable. We just like to be at that stage. It was just really pleasant. It was really sweet. But with all of that, uh, I think I should have slipped a thing or two in that you heard. Uh, we don't think you fooled us. Uh, what do you think? Do they know how you did the trick? They're great at solving things, so I think they got it. <laughs> oh, well, thank so you, good. Nathaniel Siegel. Thank you.